Hey y'all, Patrick here with Toe Mods Guitars and Basses. And today I wanted to talk about the wonderfully weird Bass 6. The bass six, it's not quite a bass, but also not a guitar. So what is it exactly? And then really that's kind of the beautiful thing about this instrument is it's just a wonderful hybrid of a bass and a guitar all in one where you can do bass lines, you can do guitar lines, but you can do so many different things in between and out of those regions too that is just so much fun and can add so much creativity to your music. So the first full scale electric bass was created by Leo Fender in 1951, but the bass six came around in 1956 by Dan Electro of all companies actually. The UB2 was their first foray into the electric bass six. And it's something that sort of changed a lot of things because again, not quite a bass, not quite a guitar. And on top of that too, you can plug this into a bass amp or plug it into a guitar amp, or as a lot of bass six players do, make your own rig combining both a bass and guitar amp to get the best of both. And what I'm playing today is the Squire Classic Vibe Bass 6 with some Labella flats on them. And this is all going through a Boss Bass Katana amp that I'm just having a lot of fun with, just playing around with it and seeing what different tones I can get. Now it is really a beautiful hybrid between these two instruments because it sort of directly sits in the middle. And since its creation and mainstream popularity, it's been used for a number of different genres such as country, rock, rockabilly, as well as many others throughout the years as shoegaze and all kinds of crazy 80s synth pop made popular by The Cure and other bands like that, where it just sort of fits in the mold between bass and guitar and can add a completely new and different layer to your music thanks to being so unique. What's really cool too is when Fender came out with their own base six model, they decided not only would they give it three single coil pickups, but you had control to turn each one of them off separately, as well as have a simple base cut switch, which sort of just cut the circuit all the low end out of it pretty much to where it would have more of a guitar tone that again makes for that really unique sound to it where it can go in between a guitar and bass pretty much seamlessly. What's really cool is you can have a super deep bassy sort of rhythm bass tone that you would get for like say surfy or really country music. But then at the same time, you can go into that shoegazy 80s pop synth dream pop era where you can just get really weird and abstract with it too. <laughs>
things I find really interesting about playing a base six, at least what I notice about me when I play a base six, is that I don't want to play it like a bass and I don't want to play it like a guitar. I want to sort of just give it its own feel where you can have the rhythm, but just play around with it a little bit. Or it's just go ahead and do some really fun lead sounds on top of whatever you're playing for some really just amazing creativity and just so much fun too. So that's about it for me today talking about the bass six. Thank you all so much for watching. And of course, in the comments below, let us know what other bass sixes you wanna see or really what other weird basses you would like us to tackle. Thank you all so much for watching as always. And of course, we'll see you all next time.